Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my each way Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse racing here in the UK. Just a quick reflection on how today's selections ran. Well the least said the better really. Absolutely appalling day today. We didn't even have a single place in the each way uh, Lucky 15. Sir Anthony Brown to be fair to him ran okay. That's still um, a likely race tour so he hasn't r raced many so he can be forgiven. He came third and he wasn't a million miles away from... Um, the business end of the race today, so that wasn't a bad run there. Other horses that ran were Cajun Fiddle, he was never in the race, he got pulled up. Pepe Le Pew, who ran at Seville not so long ago, looked really good towards the first lap. He was running really well, Adrian Herskin had him well under control, but he made a mistake um, halfway down the back straight, and um, after that he wasn't the same, so that's really annoying there. I better stop tipping that horse because that's the third time I've tipped it on this vlog and it hasn't won but probably the one time that I won't back it and it will go on to win so watch out for that one when I don't back it when it's running in a race so um so yeah look out for Pepe Le Pew there and also as well the um, other horse that ran was uh, the Frankel uh, related horse uh, Maury to be fair to him he did come fifth in his race and he wasn't without promise he when he was coming down the home straight he it looked like to start with that he was getting out pace but he was picking up a little bit he was and he and towards the last furlong or so he, he did manage to claw back a bit of ground so um he's not without promise and considering that was his first start that wasn't a bad uh, performance so it's definitely um one to watch on for but anyway, I'm going to make uh, some uh, predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action. It's the weekend, so um, I haven't done a weekend vlog for a little while, so uh, this will be the first one I've done for a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good uh, horse racing action on tomorrow. We've got uh, another meeting at Newbury, which is uh, day two of the Newbury meeting. We've also uh, got a few uh, good race meetings elsewhere around the country, but the main uh, big race tomorrow will be uh, air where we've got the Scottish Grand National. I will be tipping uh, for that race as um, my last pick in my each way lucky 15, so uh, pay attention to that. And there's also the Scottish Champion Hurdle and a lot of other good um, top quality racing at air tomorrow. So yeah, good days horse uh, racing action tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, let's get stuck in with our first each way uh, selection tomorrow in our lucky 15. Our first... Um, each way lucky 15 selection sees us go to the first race at air with a horse called um, Keltus which is going to run in the 140. This is trained by Paul Nichols and will be ridden by Sam Twist and Davies. Now Paul Nichols is absolutely sending out his horses everywhere at the moment because he really wants to um, deny Nicky Henderson the trainer's title because uh, Paul Nichols over the last month or so has uh, fallen behind especially after the Cheltenham Festival where um, Nicky Henderson took a lot of the prize money, so uh, Paul Nichols needs um, to start winning lots more races. Even though he's won more races than Nicky Henderson, the value of what they're worth um, is what it's normally calculated on. And uh, currently Paul Nichols is behind at the moment, so he needs every bit of prize money he can get. So I'm going to back him uh, here in the first race at air with a horse called Keltus. This, even though this is going to be the first time we've seen this horse for slightly over six months it's always been a consistent horse uh, for Paul Nichols he's always been um, there or thereabouts in its races it's won a couple of races it's also had a few place runs so it's there and it looks good uh, the last time it ran was uh, Cheltenham he'll appreciate uh, the ground and the trip and it's going to be running off the same mark of um, what it ran at Cheltenham. So there's a lot of good things to like about this horse. And I'm back in um, this horse to win the first race at air tomorrow, Kelter. So that's who I'm going for there. Our um, second horse that we're going to select tomorrow runs in the Scottish Champion Hurdle. And this horse that I'm going to select is a horse called um, London Prize. Who um, looks a really nice horse. And he looks a progressive um horse as well and he's definitely capable of improving I feel. Last time we saw him was at Sandown in the Imperial Cup where he won really nicely that day. He's going to be ridden tomorrow again by Tom O'Brien and he's trained by Ian Williams so um, good connections there. He's currently 10 to 1 at the market at the moment and I seem to see there's a lot of uh, market support going already for him. So currently at 10 to 1 in the market I think he could shorten 
and be one of the favourites uh, as uh, that race kicks off tomorrow. So uh, watch out for London Prize. Also as well, he seems a very versatile horse. Um, he's had a couple of runs on the all-weather and he uh, ran good there. So he's got bags of pace about him. And air being quite a bit of a speedier track compared to some of the others, I think that will play to his favour and I think he'll run a good race tomorrow. So that's what I'm going for in our Each Way Lucky 15 tomorrow London Prize. Our uh, third uh, pick in our Each Way Lucky 15 tomorrow sees us go on to the flat at Newbury in the 305 with a horse called Zaneholm which is trained by Sir Michael Stout and will be ridden by the champion uh, jockey uh, Jim Crowley. Jim Crowley's had a good day um, today. Uh, uh, Newbury had a good uh, winner in uh, the 510 at Newbury, so that was good uh, there. He's also had not a bad week with a couple of wins at Newmarket and that, so he's uh, coming back to form as the season will kick off in a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, he definitely would want to retain his crown. And I think Zaneholm tomorrow will definitely give him a good chance of winning that race. He's currently 6-1 to one at the moment with a lot of bookmakers. This horse, Zaneholm, has got really good connections. And towards um, its fledgling career, it's ran some good races. Um, it's won one of its three starts and the other two it placed. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to like about this horse. And his trainer, Sir Michael Stout, be expecting a big improvement this year. And I think Zaneholm with all those early promising signs, could run a good race tomorrow. So that's who I'm going for as our third selection in our Each Way Lucky 15. Our um, last selection in our Each Way Lucky 15 tomorrow sees us go to the Scottish Grand National, which is the biggest race of the day. Paul Nichols is definitely the favourite at the moment with his horse, Vicente, which I did tip in the Grand National, but it fell at the first hurdle, so it um, shows how much I know, eh? But um, yeah, Vicente uh, did win the Scottish Grand National. I think it might have been 2015. So there's a lot of um, things to like about Vicente. But he's been a bit disappointing um, this season. And um, I don't think he'll win tomorrow. He's currently 8-1 to one at the moment as uh, the favourite. There's a few uh, good horses up towards the top end of the market. But the horse that I'm going to go for is a Paul Nichols horse. But isn't his probably his main best shot that he probably feels. But I'm going to go with a horse called... Arpen Delange. Now this horse is currently 12 to 1 in the market and it will be ridden by one of his other jockeys, uh, Sean Bowen, who's had a really good season. We've tipped a few Sean Bowen winners on the channel here. This horse, uh, last time we saw it, ran at uh, Cheltenham at the festival in the four mile race. And to be fair to it, it performed pretty well. It only it fin when it finished fourth, it only got beaten by a few lengths and it stayed the trip. So that's something you want to take into consideration when you're looking at these races. And I think Arpens Delange, he can stay the trip. He's not a bad jumper. He'll definitely appreciate the ground. He prefers um, the more of a good more good ground because um he did get a bit unstuck in a race at um ascot that i was there at that day i remember that um horse up and delange because he let me down the place pot but um he he didn't he wasn't exhausted he just didn't have the pace compared to the others on on the softer ground so he did struggle a bit there but as the ground's Going to be good tomorrow. I think he'll run a good race. So that's who I'm going for tomorrow. Arp and Delonge. But if you have any tips for the Scottish Grand National. Leave them in the comments box below. Gamble responsibly. If you want to um, make any other horse racing predictions for tomorrow. If you've got any red hot tips that you think will do well. Also leave the comments in the comments box below. Gamble responsibly. Subscribe to uh, Lucky Loaders 15 on here on YouTube. We've also got Twitter if you want to follow us as well, uh, Lucky Loaders 15. And I'll see you soon.